Hi friends, this is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about three important terminologies of servlet life cycle. What is servlet loading, servlet instantiation, servlet initialization. So let us try to understand some fundamentals related to this. We all know that servlet is a web component, the towards server side web component. What do you mean by server side web component? It will reside and also executes in server when request is given. It resides in server, also executes in server when what request is given. I hope you are understanding my point here. So, whenever request comes, it will container, server takes a request, passes to container, container what pass handovers to component, component will be executed. Whatever uh, generated output that goes to what first what container, container goes to server, server goes to browser. That is a regular story. But who manages entire life cycle of the servlet component? Servlet container. What do you mean by managing life cycle? Keeps track of every activity of the servlet component. That means container only loads the class. Container only creates the object, container only manages the object, container only what? It calls the method. If needed, container only destroys the object. So, these three activities, what they are? Servlet loading, servlet instantiation, servlet initialization. These three works also will be done by whom? Container only. So, we have to understand what these terminologies in the angle of how container performs these works. Are you understanding my point? So, let us try to understand first servlet loading. What do you mean by servlet loading? You know that whenever you request to servlet component, container checks for that component class already object is created or not created, not created. Then it will try to create and use the object. In that process, first loads the class, then creates the object, then try to initialize the object. If already there, it will try to load the existing object and uses that object. It will try to load what? Existing object and try to use the object. I hope you got a clarity or not. Yes. So, let us try to understand in what way servlet container loads the class and that process is called servlet loading. Suppose container is getting first request to servlet component and no load on startup is enabled on servlet component. Come on. Then, then, okay. So, first container try to load the class because object is not already there. First request means object is not there. Try to load the class. This process is called servlet loading. What is that? Servlet loading. What do you mean by servlet loading? Servlet container loads our servlet component class. So, it is called, so it is called servlet loading, servlet loading, super. How does it loads? It loads with the support of class dot for name. Suppose I have a servlet called first servlet in a some package. So, how does it loads that? It gets the servlet class name from in-memory metadata of web.xml file. What here? In-memory metadata of web.xml file, the two fully qualified class name it gets, not the normal one. So, how does it loads class dot for name? Class dot for name. Let us assume my package name of servlet is com dot nt dot servlet. What dot com dot nt dot servlet. What is the class name? First servlet. This is the class name. So, class dot for name gets mm, fully qualified servlet class name from where in memory metadata of web dot xml and passes that class name as what? argument to for name method. What method? Argument to for name method. Are you with me? Right. So, and returns, uh, this method makes 
this method using this method container loads the class container loads the class which class are let component class but uh, this method returns object of class java dot lang dot class and here c is the reference of what java dot lang dot class pointing to that object pointing to that object so again i am clearing c is not the object of surlet class number 1 number 2 c is the reference variable pointing to object of its own class java dot lang dot class in that object loaded class name will be there as what data of the object loaded class name will be there as the data of the object so if i draw memory diagram it looks like this what is this object of object of java dot lang dot class fine in that object what is there com dot nt dot servlet dot first servlet is there as the data of the object is there as the data of the object here what is there come on c is there what is there here boss c is there here what is there here c is there right boss so c is the reference variable of java dot lang dot class referring to object of java dot lang dot class in that object okay class name is there our loaded class name is there servlet class name is there as the data of the object cool boss so this is servlet loading in a single line what do you mean by servlet loading it's all about it's all about making servlet container loading our servlet class that is nothing but servlet loading or or in the process of creating object for our servlet class container loads the class okay whenever whenever container loads the class okay it executes the static block or not when if you place static block in first servlet that block execute so that is a proof of concept yes container is loading class okay boss next what is the next one servlet instantiation servlet instantiation servlet instantiation what do you mean by servlet instantiation here servlet container creates the object of the class first it is loading the class after that it what creates the object of instantiation means what object creation so here servlet container container creates the object of object for loaded servlet component class so loaded servlet comp this is called servlet instant it uses which one zero param constructor always remember servlet container creates our servlet class object using what zero param constructor it cannot use any parameterized constructor that means container cannot assign anything in the instantiation process why it uses zero param constructor for object creation na that's why it cannot assign anything to our servlet class object i hope you got a clarity or not sir so what it will do already c is there representing loaded class name na yes servlet instantiation means it's all about making servlet container creating our servlet class object how does it will create it will create with the support of what new instance method already in the previous uh, servlet loading process we got object of java dot lang dot class referred by reference variable c pointing to the loaded class name or not pointing to the loaded class name on that what method will be called new instance method will be called what will be called new instance method will be called what this method will do will create the object of servlet class using zero param constructor you may ask me in what way it is different from new keyword new keyword also creates the object at runtime new instance method also creates the object at runtime 
but only the difference is new operator or new keyword says I will create the object at what time a run time but the presence of the class must be there from compile time onwards presence of the class must be there from what compile time onwards or you hope you got a clarity or not but new instance method says you give me class at runtime I will create object at runtime there is no need of having presence of the class from what compile time onwards I hope you got a clarity here new keyword test t is equal to new test of it says I will create object for test class at runtime but test class should also participate in what compilation if test class name comes come dynamically at what run time it is not going to work out for example you take this new instance method to create the object for the same test class compile time there is no need of having presence of test class but at run time you give what test class name dynamically to the application this new instance method loads that class uh, it takes what that loaded class dynamically at runtime and happily creates the object and happy happily creates the object. So, this is what you have to understand about what new instance method. This is what you have to understand about new instance method. Listen, already C is representing what class of servlet that is loaded to a container dynamically at what time runtime c dot new instance what will do takes that class that is loaded to contain dynamically at runtime creates the object so here there is no question of using new operator biggest problem with the new operator is what it creates the object at runtime but expects the presence of the class from what compile time onwards i hope you enjoyed it this is servlet instantiation what is the proof of servlet is instantiated or not if you place a zero param constructor with a SOP statement or with a debugging message or log message that will be executed. What is the loading proof static block will execute? If you write static block in the constructor having some SOP statement system dot out dot print and that will execute. Next one is what? Servlet to initialization. What is that? Servlet to initialization. Servlet initialization. So, shall we understand what is servlet initialization? As we all know that initializing object means assigning something to the object. Okay. So, containers try to assign something to our servlet class object that is called servlet initialization. So, here servlet container, servlet container assigns assigns okay what object minimum it assigns what servlet to config object servlet to config object to our servlet class object by calling by calling init servlet init servlet to config method having having servlet to config object as the argument as the argument having servlet config object as the argument let's see assigning something to object is called as what object initialization assigning servlet config object to our servlet class object is called as what come on is called as what servlet object initialization are you understanding my point or not are you getting my point or not are you with me okay now when servlet container creates this servlet class object when servlet container creates this servlet class when request comes but when servlet container creates servlet config object when we deploy the application okay the moment it observes in web.xml in memory metadata or web.xml file two servlets are configured two servlet config object ten servlets are configured ten servlet config objects will be created and that means container creates servlet config object during the deployment of the web application or during server startup on what basis 
one per surlet configuration basis. So right now what is our surlet? First surlet. First surlet also we configure in web.xml file or not. Okay, recently we are also configuring through annotation. So by seeing that configuration, okay, whether our surlet class object is created or not, irrespective of what? Irrespective of that, container creates one helper object. What is that? Surlet config object. So that means during deployment by seeing servlet configuration of first servlet, one servlet config object will be created. Not only for first servlet, if web.xml is having 20 servlets configuration, container creates how many servlet config object? 20. How many objects? 20. Uh, now listen. So, so during deployment what is created? Servlet config object. That means first servlet config object is created at what time? Deployment time itself. At what time? Deployment time itself. Now first request has come. I am assuming my servlet is not enabled with load on startup. So first request has come. So server takes a request, handovers to container. Container now checks, okay, for that servlet already object is there or not there, not there. So container loads the class already loaded. Who is referring? Object of java.lang.class referring loaded class. Come on. So container instantiates the class using what? New instance method. Now object is ready na? Yes, ready. So how that object is ready? Okay. C dot new instance creates the object. Actually, this is the one using this object is created. Are you with me? Okay. So now it takes that object. Actually, when object is created, container raises one event, instantiation event. Okay, fine. So container raises instantiation event. Because of that, what happened? One life cycle method will call. What is that init method? With what argument? What is that argument? Sarlet config object. What object? Sarlet config object. So because of that, indirectly what happened? Servlet config object came to our servlet or not? So, in our servlet, directly or indirectly, we try to assign servlet config object. So, in this process, what happened here? In this process, what happened? So, in the initialization process, what happened? Our servlet class object is assigned with what? Servlet config object. So, indirectly container is what? Hand over, he is handing, handing over, okay. So, hand overing, hand overing, okay. Servlet config object to our servlet class object or not? Yes, what is this object? First servlet class object. First servlet class object. First servlet class object. I think everyone has got clarity now. Listen carefully once again. What is servlet initialization? Assigning servlet config object to our servlet class object by calling init method is called servlet initialization. When servlet config object will be created during deployment on what? One per servlet configuration. For our first servlet also, one servlet config object is created during deployment. Okay, now what happened? First request has come to first servlet. Container checks object is there or not there or not there. That too I am assuming no load on start. Oh, fine. So, container loads the class. Okay, fine. Container instantiates the class. After instantiation, you will get some object. Na. On that object, on that object, it calls init with the servlet config object as the argument. So, what happened due to the servlet config object comes to our servlet and will be assigned to our servlet. Indirectly, container is what? Handovering servlet config object to our servlet class object. Is that clear? Is that clear? So, if I give coding there, it is something like this. Let us assume this instance method is returning something. Is returning like this. I am just giving instance method as a extended method. This is right, but I am just trying to capture the return type. What is this? Servlet. Servlet. Uh, servlet is equal to type casting with the servlet. Mm. Because our first uh, servlet c dot new in a stance of. Actually, this is the code that it will use. This is the code that it will use. Now tell me. New instance method executed due to this loaded servlet class object is created using what? Zero param constructor. 
and it returns that object. Basically, its return type is what object, Java dot lang dot object. But I want to refer with what common thing. What is that common thing? Servlet interface. Why? Why? I can refer with first servlet here. But first servlet is also implementing what servlet interface. Not only first servlet, every servlet implements what servlet interface. So better to typecast with what servlet interface. Better to typecast with what servlet interface. I think everyone got the clarity. On that op servlet object, on that servlet object, whatever we refer with servlet reference variable, what method is called? Init method is called having what. CZ. CZ means what? Servlet config object is created at what time? During deployment time. On what basis? One per servlet basis. So it takes that CZ, nothing but servlet config object, simply assigns to our servlet class object. This is called servlet initialization. Once again, you observe. So in during instantiation, new instance method is called on C, which is referring loaded servlet class. So, in this process, object is created for loaded class and we are referring that object with what? Servlet interface reference variable. On the reference variable, we are calling which method? Init method. What method? Init method. Init method is called or not called or called. Uh, then tell me, hmm, init method is called or not called or definitely called. In this process, servlet config object is simply hand over to whom? Our servlet class object. So calling init method hand hand handovering what servlet config object to our servlet class object is called as what servlet initialization. So simple three lines here. If container is loading our servlet class dynamically at runtime by collecting fully qualified servlet class name from what in memory metadata web dot xml file that is called servlet loading. If container is creating our servlet class object, then it is called as what? Servlet instantiation. If container is assigning what? Our servlet class object to what is that? Our servlet, oh sorry, container is assigning servlet config object to our servlet class object. Servlet config object to our servlet class object by calling what? Init method. Okay, having servlet config object as the argument, then it is called what? Servlet initialization. What is that? Servlet initialization. I think you thoroughly enjoyed this whole process. Okay, so these are the three important terminologies. Not only we understood the terminology, we understood internals. How to load class class dot for name or servlet class class dot for name to instantiate class new instance method and uh, to assign already created servlet config object to our servlet class object, it calls one lifecycle method called what? Init. That's it. These are the three terminologies related to servlet loading, servlet what? Instantiation, servlet initialization. If someone asks what is the difference between instantiation and initialization, simple. Container creating our servlet class object, instantiation. Container calling init method assigning servlet config object to our servlet class object or executing our own choice initialization logic through init method code is also called what? Servlet initialization. So, instantiation means servlet class object creation. Initialization means servlet instantiation. I am talking. Initialization means what? Assigning servlet config object minimum that to our servlet class object is called what? Servlet initialization. I hope you thoroughly benefited with this. Keep coding and happy smiling. Thank you.